Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about release process with respect to Snowflake SnowPro certification. Why we should understand the release process when the Snowflake data warehouse comes as a service. Since you are running your ETL workload in the production and any changes happens behind the scene, you must know how those things happen and then for any other issues, you can contact Snowflake customer support. And that's why it is important for us to understand the overall release process, considering the Snowflake Snow Pro certification. So what we are going to cover in this quick video, we are going to understand what kind of release types are available. What is the release testing procedure? What is the stage process? What is the early access to those new release features? A quick summary about them, question dumps, including answers and explanation, and where to refer the documentation. So when we talk about the syllabus, if you see under the Snowflake architecture, there is a section which talks about what all region Snowflake can be hosted, what is a different edition and what is the release process. And you may not get a lot of questions, but I assume you may get one or two questions which is related to the release process. So it is important to understand from the Snowflake Snow Pro certification. Let's quickly overview the release process. So the new release and the patch release happens every week. The deployment happens transparently in the background, no downtime and disruption of the services. Weekly releases with the option to request 24 hours early access for enterprise edition and the higher accounts to enable the additional release testing. However, this is not required. If you would like to have it, then you can go and fetch that information. What is the release type? As we understood, that is Snowflake make a release every week. There are two kinds of releases. First is new release, another is a patch release. We all know patch release is primarily for the bug fixes. However, new release also consider bug fixes, features, changes, and enhancements. Let's talk about the testing part for the certification point of view. In Snowflake, when make a release, they do the proper testing, which includes the full build, continuous workload, and performance testing. Before any customer accounts are moved to the release, deployment to the internal account for full round of regression testing and deployment to production account running simultaneously the workloads. So these are the important points to remember. If you talk about the release process, there are three stage release process, or I would say that there are three stages in the release process. Not all releases are moved to the accounts and there are three stage process as laid out here. So as you see the day one, stage one, early access designated enterprise edition account. So all the account which are having enterprise edition or higher, and if they have opted for early release access, they are given this access. And in the second stage, which could be the same day or the next day, okay, regular access to all enterprise edition. And that second day or a stage three, all enterprise edition or virtual private Snowflake accounts. Patch release does not go through this stage process. Very important to remember. It simply move all account to the newer version if the patch release is done. So make sure that you have a full clarity and understanding about this stage processes. Now, who can ask for early access? Not everybody can ask like free trial account or standard account cannot have the early access. Only enterprise edition or higher accounts can have early access. And that also you have to get that confirmation from the Snowflake support. You cannot go to the web UI and say that I need early access. That is not possible. So make sure that you remember those points. Early access is not needed for all Snowflake account because Snowflake does the proper testing, including performance and workload management. So I hope you have understood. It's a pretty simple things and I will quickly go through the summary what we have discussed. So, you know, Snowflake does the weekly release for their patch as well as enhancement. Uh, next is that release process is transparent and zero impact on the user side. Two type of releases, new release and the patch release. New release include feature, update, enhancement and fixes. Patch release only include bug fixes. Thorough testing, which includes feature, performance, and security, all are done by Snowflake. And if you would like to have additional testing, you can ask for early access. New release follow three stage processes, what we have seen earlier, and that is only possible based on the demand. Patch release does not follow any stage process and applied equally to all account type. Early access can be requested via Snowflake support 
and applicable only for enterprise edition and higher versions. Anything goes wrong, Snowflake roll back the release and you don't even know whether it has happened or not, but they do it behind the scene. We can follow release note and control function to check the current version on which the edition is operating. Now let's go through some quick sample questions which will help you to be better prepared. But I am just giving a disclaimer that these questions represent a questions from my exam experience which I have cleared in a first attempt and they are just indicating and the scope and the content of future exam may evolve. So you have to make sure that you refer to the documentation all the time. Let's see first question. So as I told you that not a lot, lot of questions would not appear from this uh, subject area, but it is better to understand that. And I would take you through all the questions which may appear in the Snowflake Snow Pro certification exam. So first is that Snowflake patch release are applicable to all account at the same time. Think and keep the answer ready. We will see the answer at the end of the video. So make sure that you pay attention to the patch release, not the new release. Next is a multiple select. So there are more than one correct answer. And during the exam, Snowflake uh, will help you how many answers are correct. So which of the following are characteristic of Snowflake releases? So answers are allow user to choose whether to upgrade or not, transparent to user, required restart, no downtime. Next question is a true false question. Snowflake uses a stage release process for new releases in which different account types are upgraded gradually. Just think through. Fourth is if you have an enterprise edition of Snowflake, you can designate it for early access for new Snowflake releases. True or false? This is also a multiple uh, choice question, uh, but it is only one answer is correct. It is not a multiple select, so be careful. In the Snowflake stage release process for a new releases, which account types are applied update ahead of everyone else. So you just have to go through uh, the discussion, what we made it and just look into the slide and probably keep the answer ready. Sixth question, a simple one. Account admin can opt to get an early access to the Snowflake release via web UI. True or false must be a simple one for you. The seventh question, following command can be executed to get a current version of the Snowflake. So Snowflake has a control functions which helps you to get the metadata about the tables, queries, and about the Snowflake environment. So try thinking, and this is also a multiple choice question. So only one answer is correct. Eighth question, if your Snowflake account is designated for early release access, you can take advantage of 24 hour period between early access and the final stage for the new release. Is this statement true or false? If issues are observed while moving Snowflake accounts to a new release or a patch release, the release may be halted or in rare instances rolled back. Do you think it's right or wrong? Just think. The last question, a simple one, new release does not include any bug, true or false. So I hope these 10 questions really allow you to think a little deeper and why we really need to understand the release process with respect to Snowflake Snow Pro certification exam. Now I'm going to explain all the questions quickly. So the first question was that is Snowflake patch release are applied to all account at the same time. True. Which of the following are characteristic of Snowflake? It is basically BND. If you go back to the slide, you would come to know BND. So no user impact and it happens transparently. Snowflake uses a stage release process for a new release in which different accounts types are upgraded gradually. True. If you have an enterprise edition of Snowflake, you can designate it early access for a new Snowflake releases. Yes, anything which is enterprise edition and above can get an early access. In the Snowflake stage release process for a new release, which account types are applied update ahead of everyone else? It is enterprise edition and higher. Account admin can opt to get early access to the Snowflake release via web UI. This is a false because you have to contact Snowflake support. Following command can be executed to get a current version of Snowflake. It is current underscore version using a select statement. It is a control statement and you can see what is the current version of your Snowflake. If your Snowflake account is designated for early access, which is always enterprise and higher, you can take advantage of 24 hour period between early access and final stage for a new release. This statement is a true. 
If issues are observed while moving Snowflake account to a new release or a patch release, the release may be halted or in rare instances rolled back. This is also true. New release does not include any bug fixes. This is false. New release includes update enhancement features and bug fixes too. These are the resources and you can, I request you to go these resources and check it. You can go to the Snowflake release document and understand all those things we have discussed. You can also see in the release notes that each week they make a release and you will you will understand that how this releases happens. Now I will show you quickly how to get the current version. As you see, I executed this control function UDF. Now it says that 4.23.2, this is 4.23.2, this is the current version of the Snowflake. Thank you for watching this video. Follow the channel for all latest Snowflake update and certification videos. If you have any issues, any queries, any question, please put them in the comment box and I will try to answer them. If you find anything odd or incorrect, please also report them through the comment box.